Yeah, hello folks. Uh, it's done again uh, in Southport. I want to share with you uh, a few things. Uh, like they say, a baby that does not cry die of hunger. So, uh, my main issue are with police. And uh, there are these uh, police that are solely to be so corrupt and uh, dishonesty, uh, abuse of power, uh, integrity of policing for that matter. And, uh, or should I say, they are working for somebody higher up or to do to kill people for cover ups and this corruption has been happening for over 8 years now the problem here is three things the first one is how it started the second one the main corruption the third one what is being done and how all this is being covered up so those are the three things that I'm going to look at tonight, uh, which is really of concern. As I said, the first one uh, started, uh, the second one, uh, police reports, third one, uh, police brutality brutality and cover up okay now please uh, before I start I want to make sure that everybody whoever is listening to this video they are on the same level as I am that I do not hate any police officer for that matter but there are those handful ones that they are so corrupt that they are so ruthless that they will kill you they will do anything and working with ambulances or the emergency department from one on one, uh, professional standard, uh, and local policing. This is how corruption is being covered up of the experience that I have been through for over eight years to this day. And I cannot comprehend enough of how many times or this attempt has been made against me and of these attempts have been solely planned against me and what actually have been done in that process. <clears throat> now, the first point is this. Uh, now, these folks are not stupid. Police are not stupid. So if you are not careful, you will die, and then you will die of natural cause, you will die of a accident, you will die of a ambulance, which they will kill you before you go to the hospital, basically. You will die in police custody, all these things. And I have been doing enough to avoid this altercation or encounter with policing for that matter, for the safety of my life as much as I have been living in fear of my life by police brutality. And they use anyone. They will use anyone. They will tell them you will be a queen, you will be what, you will be a king, you will be what, blah, 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 blah. If you don't have paper to this asylum seeker that they've been using, will give you papers. If you do this to this guy, bribe them to the guest house and bed and breakfast 
to using street uh, drainage for gas and all that to poison you. Appliances within the household, they can now operate it using a radio transmitter from operating your refrigerator, your radiator, your TV, your microwave, your cooker, baby monitor, cameras, anything that have that can be connected to electricity and have a circuit, they can access it. A car alarm within your property or wherever, they can access that. They will use that to run you down mentally, physically, and emotionally. That's all these things have happened to me. From Stoke on Trent to where I am here in Southport. Although in Southport it's not as much as it used to be in Stoke on Trent, but still the same thing is happening. But this is a problem. The commissioner is involved of policing. The day to day operating. Uh, 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 management of Southport. These so-called people run the local authority of Southport, day-to-day -day operating. They are involved from the police, the council, whoever is the management of the day-to-day -day operating as a local authority in Southport. They are involved in it. Southport Police Station the sergeant who runs Southport Police Station, they know everything that has been happening to me. They are involved in it. And the evidence for this is within three, within three departments. One on one, crimes report that I have reported to them, ambulance referrals calls from one on one to them saying that I'm in mental health, while in fact, they did not want to investigate themselves as they would implicate themselves. And they know that they have done that. So the only diversion of which is a perversion of justice is by saying to the ambulance, we are concerned of this person, of his welfare. You are not a doctor. You have never been qualified as a doctor. In fact, you are not a street of, or a first aid for that matter. All my household first aid. And I qualify myself for first aid stage three. So I know all that process. Police and you are qualified to be a police first aider within your shift, within your duty, and, and designated policing. So if you come to an incident, there are specific police officers who are trained to be a first aider. And the purpose of that first aider, to stop the bleeding, to turn the person on the side, for a breath air or to do a CPR test or to CPR to a person. Those are the speciality of the first aid of policing. Nothing more than that. So they do not have any qualification to say that person welfare is of such of such of such. The only reason they do that diversion from one on one to ambulance is by not wanting to make that report which will implicate themselves and which will question their integrity and recorded information under Schedule 3 of police complaints, statutory complaints and rules and regulation. Because if they were to record everything that I have reported to them, there is a stage they will say, no, we have to investigate this. But they make sure that do not mount to that stage for that question to be arised by the management, by the professional standard or IOPC. But to stop that from happening, they refer it to one on one, write it in their report, or we will confer a, a, a concern about him. So that's why we call an ambulance. By any law or statutory or any act they are not allowed to do so unless they attend an incident. Unless they attend an incident and it's required of ambulance, then they can, that's the only time a police can call an ambulance. 
or if the police were called by an ambulance. That's the only communication. But things since Brexit, since Brexit have been working <laughs> so racially, so aggravated, so uh, non-recording, so uh, perversion of justice, whether these are related to my issue or not, I do not know. Hopefully I don't, because this process of what I have been through is police brutality, corruption, dishonesty, in perversion of justice, including attempting murder, plan attempting murder. That's what has been happening to me. And these things have started from Stoke on Trent because I've complained against them. You can look it up in my video. I don't want to repeat the same thing over and over again to make it a shorter video. Please. So that's how it started in Stoke on Trent. Now, once they have found themselves that they were in process of grossly misconduct under Police Reform Act 2020, uh, 2002, and uh, 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 under Police Cor Corruption as well Act, all this, and uh, depriving of human rights, Article 2 and 3, especially when somebody complains against the police. This is exactly what they have been doing to me in revenge and vendetta that I have complained against them and they do not want to be held responsible. To someone with no criminal record who have been stereotyped, profiled as a black person, and when I tend to defend myself through justice, I become this targeted person to be murdered to cover up all their brutality, their stereotyping, their racial profiling, their dishonesty, uh, fabrication of information, uh, slandering, malice, all these things. That's what is actually happening to me. And this police officer, they sit around properties because let's take transport. There is no crime actually is happening in Southport. None whatsoever, unless it's an accident, a car accident, or a domestic, or that's it. Or nuisance kids, social behavior kids. That's it. That's all the crime that there is happening in our days in UK. So these people have amount of time to sit around somebody's property as they do to my property. Access my TV, watch it, everything that I'm watching on my TV. Uh, mess with my appliance to mess with my head. Uh, try to access the property whenever they can and uh, access the gas or use the neighbors. All these things to pervert the course of justice by using public resources police resources, the phones, that they have police in phones, which they should never do. But when you report one on one, drones, actually drones, these drones are being used for the wrong reasons. Drones are stationary above your houses. And there are three types of drones. There are the small drones, which take the picture in the street and view the street and go. There are another drones, which offer GPS tracking. And there are drones where people sit inside and monitor you from above of everything that you are doing. With the light. I have reported all this to one on one. And what one on one does is this. All these reports, they are not forwarded to professional standard because they know if they do, they will lose their job. So what they tend to do then is covert with the local policing and start behaving disgustingly 
and attempted murder against me because then they are covering up everything that I have reported to them, which are local police of brutality, and they do not want to report each other to professional standard because the one on one, nine 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 ambulance and the local police, they will all be facing disciplinary hearing, sacking and jail. So what's the best what's the option there? Is to kill that person. And we are the police, that's what they say. And that's what he has been doing, that's what's been happening. And these undercovers, Trojan, uh, whatever, hackers, they are everywhere. And in our days, they don't need an actual hacker. They just use their police mobiles to hack your phones, appliances, to do all these things. That's what they do to my house every day. Every single day and night. When you go to the shop, they ring the security. See what that person is doing. Is he stealing in the shop? But you notice these things everywhere you go. And you know exactly that is what they are doing. You withdraw from the cash point. My card is linked to a police. Whenever I withdraw from the cash point, a police officer from the station on a siren, we, 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 to where you have to withdraw the money. If not, a helicopter. I'm not stealing, I'm withdrawing my own money. But they do so to run you down mentally and physically, to kill you slowly. But when you report it to 101, you are crazy. You are not, you are not right in the head. While in fact from day one you've been telling the truth of everything that has happened to you. That's why... They do everything to make sure whatever you say, nobody listen to you. It's been taken as a mental health issue. And then they try to kill you with the process. Because they do not want this truth to come out. That's what's been happening to me for over eight years. These are being done by police. Police. CCTVs that will implicate them. Advantage. They get rid of that CCTV. By destroying evidence. So it cannot implicate them. But then they have an audacity to say that person is mental. While in fact everything that they have do been doing and that they have done is of mental retarded, corrupt police officers. And please don't get me wrong, it's not all of them. There are few in professional, in each police department, drugs, uh, 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 they call themselves narcotics, one-on-one -on -one, uh, traffic, local, investigating, detective, DCID, there is a part of it which is corrupt. There is that. And those are the minority. Not the majority, the minority, the less. But they are everywhere. And these police, they know themselves. This police is no good. They know themselves as they are. But they cannot rot on each other. But when they get caught, they will say, we knew what he was doing. But we cannot rot on him. Because we will end up dead. Or we will lose our job. Or we will be singled out. But this is not what I'm here for. All I want is my life back. And if it means this is a process and these are the things that I have to say of what have happened to me, yes, that's the truth. And it could be sorted. 
by investigating everything that I have reported to them and stopping all this attempted murder and let me live my life. My kids. And the only reason they have not been able and continuing doing attempted murder and planning this is because I don't have any criminal record for them to implicate me on anything or to say is my word against theirs. Everything that is so pointed at me is of their fabricating information. So whenever we stand trials or go to court, I will win the case. But they, for over eight years, they have defended that ruthlessly with attempting murder, poisoning, asphyxiation, monitoring, bugs in the property, all these things, making sure I do not get a chance to go to court to hold them accountable. This is what has been happening to me. This is what is happening to me. Now, to come to a police report, I'll make it only half an hour. To come to police report, all these reports, these people think I am stupid. Actually, not stupid, a fool. For you to investigate a case, you cannot investigate a case without evidence investigation. For you to investigate a case, you take the evidence compare it to rules and legislation. That's how you investigate. If by any means or any evidence that has been provided is against the rules of policing, act, behavior, dishonesty, those people are guilty of misconduct and gross negligence, dishonesty, corruption, but they do not investigate this with the evidence that has been reporting to them because that's what they will find. What they will write down is a lot of nonsense without any physical or evidence of that they have investigated in such and such or providing the report of the investigation to you to satisfy me as a complainer. That has never happened. Because if it did happen, actually corruption will stop. But because that's what we call cover-up, they failed to investigate the actual misconduct or gross negligence until somebody died, until someone lost their life, until someone gets in serious accident, then they seem to investigate it. Even so, they don't release all the information because when they do, like on my case, if anything happened to me from eight years ago, they won't release anything that I've reported to them because they have failed to investigate to the point of me, something serious happening to me. And they won't release all the information because they have failed to investigate over the last eight years until to this point. Should they have investigated whatever to happen from now onwards would have never happened. And they won't release those information because if they do, they will be all held accountable by failing to investigate the negligence and cover up. That's what the problem is. But when you're doing this, they even target you more, hate you more, and try to kill you even more. But I got nothing else left than to do this. To make the public aware of what is happening to me. Because if I don't, then something happened to me. They will cover it up anyway as they have been doing. But this way, at least those who have no knowledge, or if there were to be any investigation, this will come out as an evidence. And those questions will be asked. things that they do, the unforeseenable activity of policing, not only surrenders, 
is appalling and dreadful. It has been for over eight years. So, those three parts are the most, most issue in policy. Corrupt policy. And it's not all police officers are racist. Not all police officers are corrupt. Not all police officers are dishonesty. Not all police officers are cruel. Not all police officers are bully. Not all of them, no. But the handful of the ones that are involved in this, they are the dangerous ones. A police could be patrolling. Fine. Not, nothing wrong with police patrolling or coming in front of my house. Nothing wrong with that. But when they are doing so in dishonesty by perversion of justice in conspiracy, that's when it's a problem. And that police officer that is coming there at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock at night in front of my house or on the street or monitoring my phone, which is not your soon. That's when the problem is. That is the problem. If he not should if he should not be in the area where he's designated as a night shift or on a shift, he is there by corrupt, he is there by dishonesty, he is there by perversion of justice. That's why you record and you report it to one on one. But when you do so, who knows their soul? They don't write this report down. They brush you off because they know that police officer should not be in that area. What is he doing in that area? He's not coming to assist any other police officer. He's not coming to for a call to say all police should come and assist. There is no major crime happening. What is he doing there in that area? Stationary. Over and over and over and over again. That's what the problem is. Thank you very much. Hell is still continuing. And I wish and seek your referral of how to handle this. Because I have knock all the doors, return all the complaints, report all to appropriate departments, agencies, the whole of UK agency, from National Crime Agency, Fraud Agency, Corrupt Agency, Anti-Corrupt Agency, all these things I have reported it to them. But to no avail, nothing is happening. So my question is, whoever is a key player in this investigation, in this corrupt, in this conspiracy to prevent cause of justice and attempted murder against me, must have some connection. And my money is still controlled. They are the corporate. They are the main players of this brutality. Ah, thank you very much. Uh, please, subscribe, comment, advice. Please, thank you very much. A small claim application forms, what do I have to make, which application forms, all these things might help to put a stop to any advice for anyone out there, just please put it on your comment, subscribe, share it, please, it's a start, and all I want 
all I ever wanted, all I want is my life back. That's it. And if it means they have to kill me before I get my life back, which they have taken away from me, they might as well kill me. But if they stop, I'll get my life back. This will stop. And if I stop and let that continue, they will end up killing me without any of this evidence. That's my point. Thank you so much.